Taoiseach, uh, repeatedly you and other uh, government spokespeople have, uh, I think, justified the review, to use the, the language you tend to use, of our neutrality uh, in terms of the threats of cyber uh, attacks. Um, but I just wonder, you know, is that just a kind of bit of a ruse to, uh, when you're not actually looking at the lessons of the biggest cyber attack that happened, which was the one that happened on the 14th of May 2021, which far from suggesting, you know, we should abandon neutrality or that it even has anything to do with neutrality or our defence forces, suggested that in the biggest cyber attack we have witnessed, it was because of the lack of a state-of-the-art, up-to-date uh, computer system in our health service, uh, which allowed patient information to be uh, taken, corporate documents uh, to be taken, but which is also connected to the crisis we have more generally in our health service. Something that has been uh, repeated to me by many, many health care workers is the completely ancient, uh, inadequate nature of uh, the computer technology within our health service uh, is the real problem. So it's not some big, you know, I'm not saying there isn't a, a cyber security threat, but if we don't have decent uh, computer technology and IT systems, in places like the health service, not only are we vulnerable to those kind of attacks, but it's also a very significant part of the crisis that we're facing in terms of our health services generally. Deputy Smith. Thanks, um, thanks, deputies. Um, the government has, has invested considerably over the past number of years in the National Cyber Security Centre, which is currently operating at a heightened state of preparedness in response to recent cyber incidents and due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine and related cyber and hybrid threats arising from that conflict. The NCSC monitors potential threats uh, and is in, in ongoing contact with our counterparts in the European Union, UK and US and other countries to share information and to monitor the impacts from possible threats. The NCSC continues to work particularly closely with the Defence Forces and on Garda Síochána and is in frequent contact with operators of critical infrastructure and services to monitor for potential malicious cyber activities. The NCSC provides regular advice to government departments and agencies on cyber planning and emergency response requirements and through regular exercises. In relation to the Munster Technology University attack, which was mentioned by the Deputy, uh, cyber threats are an ever-present and growing risk to safe operation of information systems across all sectors and the economy. These attacks are crimes and must be dealt with as such. They very often have an international development uh, element. MTU was subject to a cyber attack, and in conjunction with the NCSC and Garda Síochána, MTU have been working to identify the extent of the breach, its impacts, and to take actions to deal with the consequences. Specialist forensic services are reviewing the nature of the attack and the impacts on the data. An interim High Court injunction has been granted, which prohibits the sale, publication, possession or use of any data that may have been illegally taken from the university's systems. Contingency plans were in place for such an event, and the MTU's core systems, such as email, HR, finance, payroll, were not affected by the breach and have continued to operate. The cyber attack on the HSC shows that neutrality doesn't protect us from cyber attacks, nor does it protect us from hybrid warfare. I've spoken to a number of experts down the years uh, about cyber attacks, and even the most sophisticated and well-resourced systems come under attack. And that's why we need to cooperate, help and get help from our allies when it comes to security and defence, when it comes to cyber security, uh, and also when it comes to dealing with potential international terrorist threats. Um, Deputy Smith's question um, uh, is an important one, but unfortunately um, I don't have a briefing on it uh, um, uh, in this group of questions, but I'll come back to her um, uh, by writing if that's okay.